All right, this one is called, What is Love? Where the Hell Does She Live? <laughs> Between towered princesses and Amazon warriors, there's a lunatic love that keeps me in closets till winter begins. Moon howlers and perverse Barbie doll dressers with glittered nail polish on the ganglia of their trepid expectations. How do I get there from here? Another accidental, a numerata, a head-on collision with airbags nestled in fanny packs, sane nets under the high line, bag me a few tourists. How do I get back from here? Okay. And this is, I, I admit, the biggest downer I've ever written. Uh, <laughs> it's inspired by Dylan Thomas, and it's all one-syllable words called Old Child at Bed Put Down. <coughs> if I had but one word to sell, I'd pay my way back out of hell. Stop would be what was heard that would hold me fast against death's loud knell. If I had but one eye to see, I use it to plumb the depths of me. And if it saw where my life would end, I'd give my bones to hell's best friend. And if that friend of hell so deep would not take in the soul to keep, I'd find a word to take me in, where I might dwell midst hell's worst kin. No more to run in fields of sun, but grow from rocks all I have done. No day would come that saw my bloom when my corpse dries out in my dark closed room. But there'll be those in black dress clothes who of my life might write one word and sound that note through clouds of throes. Yet it will not by these ears be heard, and I will ne'er know of that word. Well, good. A lot of changes on West 10th Street. Uh, old Bonnie Slotnick's uh, cookbook store is gone. They opened up a little club downstairs to honor an old jazz man named Mez Mesro. And this is called Ode to Esoteric Jazz and West Village Histories. Mesro, row your boat, chance, lay down that dream. Hey, Papa Re, Papa 163, Papa, clubbing way down below 10th Street, the Beat Street. My body lays over the ocean, cookbook lady gone. Bebop or Rebop could be the jazz shop where them old sounds are still coming on. Just like a new Naz, he laid down the hot jazz, Hamlin the cats to the mountain, his licorice stick spouting its fountain. Then he showed us the buds of a thousand green fields that were growing there just for our heads, which he rolled in those joints that Mez Mesro anoints for the Harlem cats long before dreads. So we light one on high, let the clouds meet the sky, create a new heavenly lair. Marijuana and jazz, yeah, Mez was the Naz, old Caucasian clarinet player. <laughs> this is called Dragons of Our Past. Grendel ate a lot of geats. They were among his favorite treats. Yet when it came to sucking teats, his dam was where he went. Bold Beowulf sought the dragon prize and stared the beast straight in the eyes, arranged for Hungary's quick demise, but his reward was too soon spent. Some years went by without a hitch until the dead one's mama bitch arose to find that geat so rich on vengeance she was bent. She burnt the castles, burnt the land, burnt the crops that nourish man, so old Ben Wolf, no longer grand, was forced to leave his tent. Slain dragons lay far in our past, and the day will always come at last when glories are all taken to task and we're asked to represent. Like Beowulf, some old jobs undone rob us of old ages fun with cares that will soon will overrun reputations in descent. Fire, earth, air, and water, dragons ripe for a youthful slaughter. Mother, father, son, or daughter, where ancient glories all have went, there are always more we need invent to at last lay down and die content. Okay.
Good.